There are plenty of great ways to let a guy know you like him. Flirt like mad, go on a special date, or go the gutsy option. Tell him straight up. I swear, I was just about to go with gutsy. But then, isn't it always better to be a bit different? What are you doing? <laughs> oh, you're good. Looking back, I could have gone with something a little more sophisticated. But that seaweed deserves some credit. Because from that moment, I knew it. I had one of those things only other girls have. One of those things I swore I'd never fall for. I had a boyfriend. And the most surprising thing of all is, I think I know what all the fuss is about. So, how long have you been together? Two weeks, three days, and about 20 minutes. But who's counting? You are so smitten. No way, we're just hanging out, having a good time. Totally smitten. Oh my god, it's you! Is she talking to us? Amy Reed? I was so hoping I'd run into you. Sorry. Do I know you? You're my idol. I swear, I love you. Right, um, this is Rach and Brooke. Can I have your autograph? This is so fantastic. You can sign you. You have a picture of Amy on your diary. She's a legend. Can you make it out to Nell? That's me, Nell Sims. I hope one day I can surf like you and go to Solar Blue and everything. You like surfing? Love it, but I'm not very good. Oh, well, maybe if you're down the beach sometime, I can give you a few tips. That would be so cool. We should get going. Sorry, I didn't mean to hold you up. See you soon, OK, Amy? Right. Bye, now. Did that really happen? What can I say? Clearly, I'm a legend. Police! Eric, that last wave would have been called interference because you blocked Corey. I want you guys to hassle for the next wave, but be careful of the interference rule. The boys are in fall. The girls are going okay too. Amy's got your style. Not that good, is she? Not yet, but she might be. Rachel doesn't beat her to it. Where's Brooke? She's coming in now. Lost concentration. Yeah. How many days until the regionals? What was that? I don't know. I couldn't get balanced. Brooke, this is serious. You've been letting things slip for the last couple of weeks now. I don't understand. I've been training hard, working hard on my technique. Technique is not the problem. Look at Amy. She does heaps of stuff outside of surfing. When she's in the water, she is completely focused. It's here. That's what you need to work on. That was great, Amy. You nailed it. Thanks. Now, can someone carry me home? I'm black. Hi, Amy. Hey. Nell. Right, hey. Ready when you are. Sorry? You said if I was ever down the beach, you'd give me some tips. Right, um, I didn't necessarily mean this afternoon. I bought my board and everything. I've been waiting for the last hour for you to finish. Oh. You did mean it when you said you'd help me. Yeah! No, grab the board. Yeah. You alright? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Okay, let's try it again. Yeah. Oh, no! <laughs> oh, poor Amy. I know. <laughs> then why are you smiling? Am I smiling? If you are smiling? I'm going for a run. It'll be dinner, sir. I'm not really hungry. I'll see you later.
Hey, I'll, I'll come with you. It's all right. I want to. No. I need to go on my own. Time trial. Sure. Focused? I'm focused. I'm one of the most focused people I know. Ugh. Watch where you're going. Focus, remember? Poor Mike. Why did I have to snap at him? I wonder what he's up to. No, that is not allowed. Focus. Left foot, right foot, left, right, left, Mike. Ugh. I've saved you some dinner. Thanks. Might want to heat it up in the microwave. Look, I'm sorry about before, being a weirdo. Luckily, I like weirdos. My form is rubbish, Mike. You've had a bad day. It happens. It's a focus thing. I've got you in my head all the time. And that's bad? I'm sorry. Yes, that's very bad. The problem is, we do everything together. We surf together, we go to school together, we do breakfast, lunch, dinner, the washing up. We're always in each other's faces. What are you saying? You need some space. Yes. No, because that sounds bad, like I don't want to hang out with you. It's fine. Really? Of course. But how? We need to limit the amount of time we spend together. So every Saturday night, I'm taking you on a date. And the rest of the time? We treat each other as friends. Friends? Yeah, not even good friends, acquaintances. I'm just some guy you know, not very well, who you don't even like very much. I've got more important things to concentrate on. What do you reckon? Give it a shot? Okay, new day. Focus. Hi. Focus. Sorry, Amy's still in our bathroom and I'll come back. No, don't. I'm all done. Okay, so how am I supposed to stop thinking about you when I can potentially bump into you at any point in the day? Well, your hair is really cute in the mornings. That wasn't a compliment, by the way. Like a boyfriend type compliment, it was a statement of fact. But the fact is, your hair is really cute. I'm sounding like a boyfriend, right? Mike. Okay. You know what? We won't talk. What? At all? Until Saturday, ignore me. I'm not even here. Okay. <laughs> Neither are you. Well, you just opened the door to someone who's not even here. Technical glitch. It won't happen again. Who cooked the bacon? You want to complain? Fry your own pig. No, she's asking. Hey, Amy, could you pass the salt, please? Brooke, it's in front of you. It's better if you do it. What? She's invisible. She's what? So is he. Whatever turns you on. Are you expecting anyone? Hi, Amy. It's her. I'm not here. Corey, tell her I'm not here. Hi. Mel, is it? Yeah. You and Amy, right? Mm-hmm. Amy, what are you doing behind the bench? Hi, Mel. Hi, Amy. I was just cleaning something. Great bikini. Just like yours. I hope you don't mind. I saw it in the shop and... You two could be twins. I came early so we'd be finished before school. Could you excuse me for a tick? Right. You have to come with me. She's stalking me. She's wearing my bikini. It looks better on you. Hey, Promise. Corey, you Why do you find this funny? She's seriously harassing me and you think it's funny? I think it's funny because you don't want to be a megastar anymore. What's that supposed to mean? 
I thought you liked being a legend. This high-profile thing, remember? Yes. I never liked it, but there was nothing I could do. She's obsessed. Okay, okay. At first, maybe I was a teeny weeny bit flattered, but I really regret that. Please come with me. Ready? Yes, and so is Rach. She's a caring, loyal friend. Let's start the lesson by letting Amy show us some moves. Okay, great. These are really nice. Can I borrow them? Just get out there, and whatever you do, do it badly. Where is everyone? Uh, the girls are taking a master class on the beach, and Eric and Corey have gone to the library. You two are the only ones left. being your idol and everything. Sorry. Should have given you more of a head start. This is mad. We're both going to school. Let's break the rule this once. No, no way. I made you a promise. I'm going to stick to it. Amy, you're really not surfing well today, are you? No, I'm not, not at all. I was just telling Nell about your fitness. Lack of fitness. Yeah, hopeless. Can't do anything. It's okay, I know what to do. My dad, he's sort of like a personal trainer. Does a lot of work with the footy team. He'd love to help. No, I mean, it's too late. The regionals are tomorrow. Yeah, too late, it's a shame. But this is a long-term thing. There'll be other cops. This is your career we're talking about. You don't need to take responsibility for my career. We'll start Monday, 5 a.m. You'll love working with my dad. He's unreal. You should have seen the look on Amy's face. This girl just won't take no for an answer. Are you okay? Yeah. It's great you and Mike get on so well. He's liked you since day one. How do you know? It was obvious. Anyway, he told me. He told you that he liked me? At the start, when we were all getting to know each other. Mike and I used to hang out quite a lot. He told me heaps of stuff about France and how he misses it sometimes, the culture and everything. You guys would have talked all about that. Yeah, heaps. No, never. You're lucky. He's a great guy. Mike and Rachel used to hang out? Stop it, Brooke. You're being paranoid. What? Nothing. OK, straight into bicep curls. I want 10, nice and slow. 10. 9. 8. 7. Of course he's avoiding six, you. That's what you asked him five, to do. Four, three, and she is your good friend, two, who would never do anything to hurt you. One. Good. That'll do. Grab your boards. Get out there and... Focus. Hey! <laughs> Get on the wave. Bend your knees. Think about where your arms are. No, not there. Arms are here. In the surf. No one else matters. What are you doing, Brooke? We haven't finished yet. What's the point?
to ask you something. And every part of me knows it's not true, but... What? Nothing. I'm an idiot. You don't want to talk about it? I want a new head. You don't happen to have a spare one, do you? Not on me. Bummer. of ice cream? Still, good for mulling over problems with. Better than celery. Celery sticks in your teeth. This is where you tell me what's wrong, or to go away if you prefer. No, I don't want you to go away. I want me to go away, but I think I'm stuck with me. You're not that bad, are you? I think I might be. Insane is actually the word. Does everyone with a boyfriend act like a lunatic? Pretty much, yeah. Someone should warn you about that before you get one. I remember when I was at high school. I fell for this guy, Greg Post. Good name. <laughs> I was supposed to be studying for my half-yearly exams, but we spent the whole time smooching behind the science lab. Did you say smooching? Well, you know, whatever you kids call it. <laughs> was he a good smoocher? Yeah, he was a great smoocher. So what happened? Oh, well, I failed my half-year exams and then I had to study my butt off to pass the finals. And what about Greg Post? Oh, he got top marks and a scholarship to a private school. Never saw him again. Unfair. Oh, well, I'd gone off him anyway. Why? I don't know. <laughs> Nose was too big. So what are you saying? that I should split up with him? Put surfing first? Oh, you're gonna hate my answer. Only you can decide that. You're right. I hate that answer. Make a decision, Brooke. Any decision, just make it. Can I break the rule for 40 seconds? You should wear this. Your lucky wristband. Won't let you down. Thank you. Welcome to the City and Central Girls Regional Final. Would all competitors please make their way to the judges' tent? All competitors please make their way to the judges' tent. That's you? Yep. Good luck. You are focused. She's doing okay. She's doing better than okay. That was okay, Brooke. Maybe you're not a complete loser. Ugh. Okay, smile. Got it. First yeah. and third. Two out of three faces. That's brilliant. Congratulations. Brooke's going to come into her own at the Southern Beach Finals. Right, Brooke? <laughs>
hope so. Of course you are. I'm going to sack that wristband. It wasn't its fault, unfortunately. <laughs> Second one you got was so good. <laughs> Didn't think you were going to get us. You don't want to know this. <laughs> yeah. How are you going to explain first place? Don't know. What do I do, guys? Just be honest with her. It's not that simple. Why? Because chicks have a way of making things complicated. We do not! Go over and tell her that she's cramping your style. I don't want to hurt her feelings. Isn't it worse to keep lying to her? Hi, Amy. Hey. Thanks, thanks for coming. It's weird. You've definitely improved since yesterday. Yeah, um... I wanted to talk to you about that. Look, Nell, about all this time we've been spending together... Oh, I won't be able to do it anymore. Sorry? I won't have the time, Amy. Elizabeth Hood has started at my dad's gym. Who? She's the national snowboard champion for the last two years. Right. She's going to run weekly classes, and my dad's organised for her to give me private tuition. Really? It's a fantastic opportunity. I'm really sorry, Amy. I wanted to be there for you, but I've already chatted to Lizzie, and we really bonded, even more than you and me. <laughs> no. Don't be sorry. You go for it. I knew you'd understand. Under no illusions now. How can I see when I am blind? There may be heaps of great ways to start relationships, but there are very few nice ways to end them. Bad news. I should have thought about this before, but I got my finals tomorrow. So we're gonna have to wait till next week on Friday. Okay. Why do I get the impression that this doesn't matter? Of course it matters, it's just... What? So? You have no idea how much I don't want to split with you. But you're going to. Why? Because I like you too much. Is that a normal reason to drop someone? I'm a weirdo, remember? We've established that. I'm so sorry. The weird thing is, I actually understand. I know how much surfing means to you. Wow, this really sucks. I've got this crazy idea. Yeah? Our day. We put it off for a while. Until this whole solar blue thing's finished. Surf off and everything. That's six months. It's a long time to wait for a date. Hoping I was worth it. You have some serious tickets on yourself, haven't you? <laughs> OK, you're on. Really? Six months. This better be some date. In the meantime, I've got something for you. Payback. Oh, no way. <laughs> Sometimes, you need to put a relationship away somewhere safe. That way, you can get it out when the time is right, when it's allowed to make as much noise and cause as much trouble as it wants.